What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We got Chris Sean Rock and Blueface back in the click today, you guys. And you guys, I just literally did my research. Now, y'all already know I made my reservations, and y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it. Blueface is definitely cheating on Chris Sean. Now, this girl right here, name is Naomi, the homie, and she is on Blueface's Blue Girls Clubs Season 2. And this is the girl that he was caught hugged up on, kissing at a party. And allegedly, Chris Sean pulled up to look for him but they said that she couldn't find him well click i don't believe it not one bit because when i just looked in krishan's stories i ended up seeing a knot on her forehead but krishan went to her stories and did a video and said the only thing he hitting is this tire now click i do not believe this not for one second at all because as i just showed you she absolutely has a knot on her mother forehead click and i don't believe that the only thing he's hitting is that tire it's clear as day and at the end of the day even though she pulled up on him unannounced because that's chris Shaw, she was definitely frustrated but let's not forget what blueface said why y'all keep putting me in this twist like i want me to be in a relationship so bad right? she's her and i'm me she move how she want to move now, he already even said it since then that he was single and he was dating. Krishan is chasing after this man and she want him to be something that he's just not. Now, y'all take a look at this live between Naomi and Blueface. <laughs> No, House of Blues is fine. She upstairs. I put her to sleep already. She fine. She didn't like somebody. I'm not even gonna say who. Somebody didn't like that they nigga was here. And I'm getting punched on for showing up. Messy. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. No. That one girl. I'm not even gonna say her name because y'all gonna. I'm gonna be in the vlogs like crazy. Y'all will see. <coughs> y'all favorite little whoever. I do feel bad. <laughs> Everybody did that shit for me. I feel bad. She just always be in that situation. Baby. Now, click. She said, "Poor baby," but you want to know something? Krishan is grown, and she knows better. She knows that blue face be f***ing them girls in his house and just cheating on a girl. Period. Now, it's just unfortunate that we all have to put allegedly in front of it, but at the end of the day, the girl just exposed that it was blue face. He got mad that she popped up on him, and like Naomi said, she got popped up. I'll fight this man disrespects me or runs up, but I don't just fight over people. I'm a hope of victimist. I don't think so. I was the first one. I was the first one. I got all this from the beginning. Yes, this was okay. One second. Did she not? Did she not wrestle? Did she ever you this room? No, y'all yeah, be quiet. Turn the mute line. Mute the line. Mute the line. Now, as you can see in the background, they were all talking about Rock and what happened in that situation last night. And they wanted her to mute the live so that way the tea won't get spilled to everybody. But we not slow, sis. But the fact that she says she's a whole polygamy and she not fighting over nobody, she only fighting if somebody disrespect her. She's basically referring to the fact that Krishan came there, pulled up, looking for him, causing a scene and try to wrestle everybody in the background, period. But the problem is she has to learn how to love herself. We constantly keep saying this, and I really hope one day that she really opens her eyes and really learn who she is and learn how to love herself. Because Blueface ain't it, period. I mean, he said it himself. He said he's single and he's dating, and the fact is, Krishan won't leave him alone. She keeps following after him, chasing him everywhere. He's not going to stop cheating. He's not going to stop doing what he want to do. Now, Naomi went back on live. Y'all check it out. Oh, it gets to me. I'm not apologizing for anybody showing up. I don't care if they wanted me to or not. 
I didn't ask anybody to show up. I'll say that much. I didn't ask anybody to show up. So, not even a text. Michael Jackson doesn't have a booty like this. His sister did. As you can see, she said she's not apologizing for anything that happened last night because Krishan pulled up and she didn't give Krishan an invite. And she's not apologizing for the kiss because at the end of the day, she is polygamous. She don't care. Listen, click. The same thing that happened to Jaden Alexis, Blueface baby mother, is going to be the same thing that is exactly happening to Krishan right now. And I'm just going to show you guys a clip of the things that she said about Jaden Alexis. I don't give a f you, Blueface. I don't give a f you, Chris Brown. If I can't wife you, I can't really f with you, f with you, f with you, you know what I'm saying? I can't really, oh, I'm going to be a wife for you. I'm going to be this for you one day. I'm going to have a child. Why the f you want to have a child with a f that don't want to put just his f in you, bro? I'm just saying. You feel me? Like, that's just me. Like, say if y'all slip up, whoop de whoop de whoop now you nigga go get an abortion, bro. you going to be over here tripping like a dumbass. Oh, because it's the baby that brought his clothes. Now, this is proof right here to show that she knew he was a dog when she was messing with him, when he was messing with his baby mother. And it don't matter how beautiful you are. If you don't have no substance and you're not using your brain and you don't know your self-worth, none of that shit means anything at all anyways you guys y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this i'd love to know your thoughts now click i don't know what is in the air tonight but it's some drama 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 next in the click we got Nicki minaj in the click today you guys and click Nicki minaj is being exposed by her alleged former assistant now before i post the receipts click i'm just gonna tell y'all off back half the stuff that this alleged assistant is exposing it's kind of making sense y'all so let's get straight to the first she goes by the anonymous name Kate Miller. She said, I am Monika, ex-assistant who she fired who for absolutely no proof of fraud with her bank account. I'm exposing all files I have from working for her, along with the voice messages she sent me regarding any different people, not just Cardi B. She then said, the things that your husband said to me when you weren't around still gives me chills. And as a woman, I'm going to deal with that on my own time. But you both are sick and meant for each other. She then said, Nicki Minaj, let's talk about you sending Robert Samuels 75000 for Freaky Girl Abundance on the charts. But your fans love dissing payola. You won't sue and you know why. I have it all on video. For example, when Kenneth pushed you off that lodge, Meek isn't the only abuser. Now, Click, she says so much, but no funny sh**. I don't know why I feel in my bones that this is real. And if it is, this will be really fucked up because when Cardi was dropping music, that's the first thing she said was that Cardi was paying payola. She even went far as saying that the label was disappointed she said absolutely this is why she made so many songs with new and popular artists like koila ray barrio foreign bia she then said i never effed wayne i never effed drake everyone in the industry has the video we need to see that video clip and i'm guessing it was getting too hot click because she was able to screenshot alleged dms between nikki and her because people the barbs were saying that this was a fake page and they were lying and she had to do a screen record of the video just to show that she was really talking to Nicki Minaj. As you guys could see in the messages, Nicki Minaj said, this isn't getting anywhere. You look pathetic. She said, why block me? Where are you staying at? She said, now you want to threaten? Okay. She said, we all just want to talk this. It's getting out of hand. I'll fly you out. We can meet one-on-one. -on -one. Stop the posting. She said, you're not going to buy me. Onika, I had my lawyer read this and say what I want. You brought this upon yourself. Stop calling me. She even put screenshots of Nicki finally blocking her because she couldn't handle the smoke having your entire team try to call us is insane well click it looked like it's just gonna be ongoing drama so y'all already know i'm gonna stick up on it i mean she's even threatening to post the sex videos between her and her husband and calling them sick so we will be waiting for those receipts but she even tagged eric and tay and said uncle ma'am please stop blowing my phone up you should be focused on young thug didn't nikki help you link with him Wait a damn minute. I mean, she was doing a lot of name dropping and she had a lot of tea to serve, saying she owe $173 million in taxes and she's renting a home. That she see Cardi as competition, she said very much. <laughs> we knew that. Now, 
Let's talk about that. I mean, let's really talk about it because this is really making sense. The math is most definitely mathy. Something in the milk ain't right. It's a little spoiled. I mean, Nicki Minaj did respond and she basically said it was a kid and then you have to be dumb to believe it. So maybe I might be a little bit dumb, but I'm really hoping that this is definitely not true because I mean, this would be really be really bad. And then my thing is the screenshots of the text messages, the screenshot of you blocking the person. I mean, even Tay blocked the person. So it's like, something just not given. We need a little bit more proof from Miss Little Katie Miller, Anonymous. Until then, Miss Minaj is in the clear. My assistant, y'all, they went and told everybody that it, it is true how $173 million to the IRS. <laughs> and I hooked up Tay. <laughs> oh, my God. I hooked up Tay with... Dugger. And yes, Tay, um, my Tay is so uncomfortable around the man I'm married because he's so, um, and Tay don't ever like to be around him. And Tay was calling that assistant saying, begging the assistant to stop <laughs> spilling my tea. And first of all, my face looks a little crazy because we didn't get to the other part of my makeup yet. Okay. My lips still about to apply my blush. So don't laugh, don't, okay. Y'all, every day I learn that y'all getting dumber and fucking dumber. The other day I was on Twitter and I saw this whole fan base, bitch. They marked up a whole spreadsheet saying this is what we about to do to get rid of Nikki finally. And they were saying all types of shit. And I just was like, whoa, this is sad, right? But shouldn't wait it to go live. See, this is why when you don't know how to write or spell, you need to put the phone down. <laughs> but here's the thing. Y'all, I am mind blown that people are this fucking dumb, that people were re are believing that I got somebody that worked for me and now they spilling tea, child. But it's not even that. It's the T sounds so fucking dumb. And for a person to believe it, you would have to be dumb. It's clearly a kid. Do you know how much money you would have to make to owe that amount of money to the IRS? I didn't, I didn't see the other stuff. What else they said, Tay? I don't know. Type of crazy shit. So, who, do you feel uncomfortable around who, Tay? Like, come on. Like, what? <laughs> right. Y'all can't get off of my sweet Trinidadian pussy. Clearly. No, they don't got a fake. They say Katie Miller underscore 2227 cracking up laughing. One exactly. <laughs> like, y'all, I really need y'all to either get a job, invest in yourself and your future to my fans. Well, it's obvious that she's going to deny the claims. At the end of the day, that's what you're going to do. She has an image to uphold. So hopefully she's able to rectify this very soon. And this is not true because this would not be good for her at all. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this situation. If you have stayed all the way through this video, you are a real one. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button so you could join the click on the road to 10K. Love you guys. Bye.